Hey guys, Amber from The Vault here, back with another Fallout 4 Settlement mod. Now guys, I am super, super excited about this one. I've been sitting on this one for a while. I haven't been able to do it yet, but I'm really, really getting into this one. This is 10 Pines Bluff Settlement Overhaul, and what this does is it actually takes 10 Pines Bluff, and not only A, makes it actually interesting, because I hate this settlement. I should have to do a build here someday. It's an absolutely horrible settlement, but also it turns it into this cool like kind of quest uh installation thing so we're gonna find out i'm assuming there's some aliens involved based on that picture there i'm pretty excited about this one though guys since it's on ps4 i don't think we're gonna get any um it, i don't know if there are any mods uh excuse me not mods quests involved with this but if Busted. we if we have them we're what not gonna get it Okay, so we need an ID reader. We're not going to be able to get it. So I am playing as Maxon. If you guys didn't just see that, I am playing as Elder Maxon. Now, I do this whenever I have a current build at a settlement. I go ahead and play it under my Elder Maxon one. Simply because he's, uh, I think he's level five now. I have to find the card. Oh, shit. We're going to need lots of cards, aren't we? We need all the cards to get into all these places. Don't have the card. Okay. So can we get in anywhere? Need to find the card. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Had a bobby pin. Damn it, I don't need bobby pins. <laughs> That's how new this character is, guys. I don't need a bobby pins. Let me do this. Let me first get a damn bobby pin. Wait, let's look around here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? First, I would like to thank you for trusting our agency with this matter. Looking for a forgotten secret military installation was a most welcome change from our usual missing persons cases. Enclosed, you will find Nick's discoveries, which I'm sure you will find most satisfying. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. Sorry. In your settlement endeavors. Thanks again for trusting Valentine's Detective Agency, the, be the best agency in the Commonwealth. Ellie Perkins. Client T. Magnum. Ooh, that's a name. Case. Mr. Magnum inherited a mysterious ID card from his uncle. It was. It is supposed to keep... Wait, sorry. It is supposedly the key to a pre-war secret military facility. He hired us to authenticate the card. If it is genuine, to locate said installation. Findings. Cracking the ID card was no easy task. It's clearly an authentic pre-war military card since nobody I know was able to reproduce that level of encryption today. I rigged a makeshift reader and managed to make a name from the card. I couldn't dig deeper because of a built-in failsafe that would have wiped the card clean. Those military types did take security seriously back in the day. The card seemed to have belonged to a certain Colonel Jack Sanders. It wasn't much to work with, but it led me to a bunch of old Boston Bugle articles from just before the war. It was some creepy stories. I'll save you the details, but suffice, to, suffice it to say it started with two reporters who disappeared back in 68 while investigating the K-21 projects. At the time, rumors about those projects were pretty wild, covering everything from UFO sightings to unethical civilian surveillance to military abductions and even to corruption at the highest levels of government. Whoa, guys, this is already sounding fun. It was regularly in the news for the next nine years, but was never achieved, but never achieved much, excuse me. Sanders always came up with a fitting cover story for the reporters were victim of some random accidents when they didn't simply disappear. Still, one guy who was helped by some rogue BPD detective came pretty close. They cross-referenced at the official cover stories and came up with a potential location, somewhere around Ten Pines Bluff. They were supposed to publish their full findings when the war happened, of course. My next step was to head there scouting results. I'm fairly confident that I've successfully located the K-21C facility, but I would advise you to be very careful if you plan on setting, settling the area or to not go there at all. The barn west of the camp is full of heavy automated defenses and surrounded by a minefield. Local traders also seem to think this place is cursed as to keep people disappearing around it. And I'm not even talking about the surrounding region, which is crawling with feral dogs, feral ghouls, raiders, and last but not least, a significant gunner presence in the abandoned Minutemen outpost of Zamonja. I still can't say that word. I'm assuming that's correct. <laughs> the choice is yours. You have all the information you need to make a decision, but I would go there well prepared if I were you. Thank you for doing business with us, Nick Valentine. All right, let's check this out. See what this one says. Hey, Deb, have you seen Higgins? He went in the camp last night and hasn't returned yet. He left with an ID card, so I checked the buildings, but they were all still locked. I'm starting to worry. Oh, damn. Well, let's take that quantum with us. All right, so I think what we're going to need to do is get ourselves a bobby pin so we can get in that door. Otherwise, maybe there's a body around here somewhere. When I came in, I talked to that chick whose brother's been uh, kidnapped. I wonder if maybe I could have pickpocketed her. Wait, why can't I get up here? Go a little slower, Amber. There we go. Ooh, what's that up there? What's over there? 
I'm assuming I probably can't get in there, can I? No. Okay, well there's another one of these back here, so hold on. There's another little No, still needs Gotta it. Find the card. And toilet? Nope. Okay, I was hoping for a dead body. Huh. Well there's the barn. Let's go ahead and get up to the barn, guys. Oh. Quarry Master Perry. Well, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. Oh, it was cool. Well, there we go. We got that key card, or at least a key card. Damn. What am I stuck on? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> this is why you don't play this shit on a low-level character, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're back. We are back, and I actually went and got myself some damn ammo, so I didn't actually have to fight with, a uh, little alien blaster anymore. So, uh, <laughs> here's the deal. There are so, 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 so many laser turrets up there. I'm not entirely certain I'm actually going to be able to do this on this level. So, look, I am level 4 on this character. Legitimately, I am level 4. It is ridiculous. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do this. So, what I'm going to do, guys, real quick. When you walk in there, it triggers them. Let's read this real quick. Oops, I don't want to close the gate. Dear Perry, I totally catch your drift, but you know what would entertain me? Watching you die. Look up, Hendrix. Oh, that's that's okay. So I yes, I gave McCready a fat man because <laughs> we are not gonna do this shit. Now I think ah. Oop, I'm pressing the wrong button. Sorry about that. I thought there was one up there. So I think we have to walk in. Let's get it on. And then it'll. Yeah, there we go. That's what happens. So we're gonna let uh, McCready fight there with that. We're gonna stick with our. Gatling laser here, because remember, we are Elder Maxon. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Ah! Alright, guys, here's the deal. I went back, got some real ammo, and uh, I've already tried this once or twice. It, this is killing me. <laughs> I actually gave McCready a fat man. I'm not lying. So we could actually get through this. Dear Perry, I totally catch a drift. But you know what would entertain me? Watching you die. Look up, Hendrix. Yeah, that's legit, guys. We're gonna get out of here. Shit, I'm stuck on the fence. Alright, get ready, Mac. Take them down. Okay, we're gonna try to take these guys from afar. Because I've realized through doing this... I try to rush into battle too fast. Tend to kill myself. Realistically, what I should probably be doing is putting this on easy. <laughs> so I can play this on easy. But, you know, we ain't all smart. <laughs> if I die this time, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get some cover. I don't know why I did that for. I've been playing so many different games lately, sometimes I can't remember which one I'm playing. Okay, watching that health, watching that health. Come on, come on, come on! Ooh, we better hide. We better hide. Oh, we can't hide! Why can't I hide? Why can't I hide? Why can't I hide? What am I stuck on?! Oh, shit! I'm being attacked by something! That's why! Shit! I am so stuck here! Shit! <laughs> Oh god, that was the last the last time I needed a wild mongrel. Last thing I needed at that moment. Come on, come on. I have so many fusion cores. I just went absolutely <coughs> mad. Shut up, Mac. I love you, but as Maxon, you drive me a little crazy because I suck so bad. <laughs> I was overpowered by the time I had McCready in my game. And my Amber McCready one. <clears throat> At that point, I was already overpowered, so. <clears throat> I guess he never uh, made little smart ass comments to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Whew! 
We might as well just stim pack it. I know there's one more. I just don't know where it is. I know it's up there. I feel like I should save. Safety off. I think we have company. You think? Really? Gosh. I really should have done this. I was just starting to have fun. I should have done this as Amber McCready, but uh I didn't because I'm smart like that. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's try to get through here, guys. That is a fucking spaceship. Holy shit. Alright, let's go through here. I don't have any high hopes. Oh, this is just a dead end? Oh shit, okay. Well, anything else in here? This is a door on the side. Shit. I don't know if those are actually. Yeah, they are. You can hopefully get the jump on them here. That's how we do things around here. The other one doesn't seem to notice I'm here yet. There we go. I guess hiding behind a door works. Wow, this is so hard to control. I don't know if it's hard to control because I'm maxing, or if it's just actually hard to control. Oh. Oh, okay. It just closes the door. Alright. Alright, alright. I got that. Alright, you guys can see I, I got some bobby pins as well. I did a full-on shopping That's trip, it. guys. I'm feeling... Oh, shit! Shit! Feeling a little more careful than I normally am. So is that it? It's just the... There's nothing else to learn here? Wait, Max fighting something. What are you fighting, babe? Let's see. Let's see what he's doing. Who are you fighting, McCready? Oh. Stupid pack of dogs. Wow, babe. Woo! I'm sorry, guys. If you don't know me well enough to know I'm in love with RJ McCready, it's about time you learn. So I do have that card now, so I wonder if I can get into any building. Let's go ahead and try. Fuck it, let's just try. Let's see. I have to find the card. No, so there's a different, there's a special card. Okay. So that card worked on that one. I wonder if there's another door this card's gonna work on then. I love how there's just settlers milling about in the background, like, no biggie, just some settlers. Need to find the card. Okay. There must have been a card in there or something. I must have missed something. No use, not without a card. Okay. Yeah, I must have missed something in there. There must be a card. Because I think one card would lead to another, right? One card leads to another. No? Am I the only one? Okay, let's see. Let's run back in here. C. So C is the card we can use. Oh, wait. What the hell just happened? Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me guys, and it really does help me know what you guys are interested in. Also, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face there in the middle of the screen. Also, on your screen you're going to see a playlist that links you to the other Fallout Friday videos I do. Remember, every Friday here on my channel, I do a video from Fallout 4. I hope to see you guys next Friday. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here guys. See you in the next one.